Hello, 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 everybody. Here is Dr. Kugwile again talking about different topics of science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Kugwile which topics do we have? research, community education, care delivery hours, and achievement. All right, guys, the article to read you today is Plastic Surgery, a Science and an Art. This is a conversation with Ditva Kopso. All right, Ditva Kopso didn't expect to end up in plastic surgery. In fact, she entered to Harvard Medical School determined not to be a surgeon. It was the only thing I thought I would never do. However, that all changed during her first surgical experience when she played her hand on a patient aorta that was it feeling someone blood circling under my hand was unbelievable she recalls people let you into their life in a whole different way of a surgeon her training at harvard medical school was the first step in an impressive career art that recently did a new job chief of the division of plastic and reconstruction surgery at albany medical college Copso described her experience at Harvard Medical School as one largely shared by people, her classmates, who remain close friends and confident as well as her many mentors in surgery and medical education at school. The common three was their level of engagement and their passion for education. These are people who are so brilliant and talented and they took the time to listen and give advice. There are many reasons capsule of plastic surgery. The details and discipline of the work, the change to see results and fall before her eyes, and the opportunity to operate on every body part and tissue type. However, asking her why she chose plastic surgery is asking somebody why they all in love with someone. It is a visceral thing. Plastic surgery just fixed me. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University, I want you to review this article, guys. It's so great and beautiful, the acknowledge that we can get from these different authors. You will be able to browse these articles, how I said before, from Magazine Harvard Medical School website, the official website. You will be able to download all these beautiful articles. Remember the title of the article that we are doing the review today is Plastic Surgery, a Science and an art all right guys so we continue doing this beautiful review Coxo considered her patients to be her most important collaborators. I have to listen and talk to patients to understand and elude and interpret that their wishes are. She says she also feels her especially exists at the intersection of medicine and art. She applies her creative with the basic surgical parameters and achieves a result that is aesthetic and functional and sweet she individual. Everybody has it as art. She explained and it is her job to connect the two. This is especially true in one of her surgical patients, top surgery for transgender patients, which usually involves removing breast tissue and achieve a more typically masculine appearance. When performing top surgery, she says she has the privilege uh, of helping patients really reflect who they are on the inside. It is pretty special to come along for the journey. When cops of first become interested in top surgery, she toured a Richard Bartre and Harvard Medical School assistant professor of surgery, part-time at Beth Israel Deconce Medical Center. For additional training, one of her current goals is to create a multidisciplinary healthcare experience for transgender patients.
Gotso considers relationship and talking to people to be central to everything she does. Having grown up all over the world, she came to realize that human beings at their core are pretty strive for and have consistent desires, beliefs, and values. This notion, she says, helps her whether she's mentoring a resident or counseling a patient. Gotso credits her mother who moved from Ghana to Germany to become a dentist and oral surgeon in 1970s with showing her what is possible. There are always challenges for me being a black woman and never the person anybody's expecting in the room but I'm thinking about women like my mother who has passed away and that's a huge motivation that's what she said. You remember that you can download all these beautiful articles from the official website from Harvard Medicine Magazine. Uh, actually, I want to remind this article has been very short, uh, but it's very interesting for the people who is in the medical file, the medical society. It's a person who started medical school, but at the beginning didn't want to become a plastic surgeon, but after managed the blood in some surgery, change the goal and decided to be a plastic surgeon. Alright guys, so remember to view this beautiful article, the title is Plastic Surgery a Science and an Art from Harvard University. This has been posted by Catherine Caruso, she is a science writer in Harvard Medical School Office of Communications and External Relations. Alright, remember to download this from Dr. Wild Podcast. See you next time, bye bye.